political scandal. The governor of Missouri fighting back this morning after explosive allegations stemming from an extramarital affair, an affair that he does admit to having. The governor's now giving his first interview since the scandal broke, but he's denying some harsh claims against him as a criminal investigation is launched. ABC's Ariel Reshef is here with more. Ariel, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Paula. Republican Missouri Governor Eric Greitens now at the center of a sex scandal. Some Democrats and even members of his own party calling for him to resign. But Greitens says he's not going anywhere. Embattled Missouri Governor Eric Greitens speaking out in his Strange. first interview on camera like since me. admitting to a months long affair with his former hairdresser. I think this was a consensual relationship. Now confronting bombshell allegations of blackmail and threats of violence that have made him the target of a criminal investigation. There was no violence. This was all consensual. But in a 2015 recording secretly made by her then husband, the woman says during that encounter in his home, Greitens bound her hands and blindfolded her, took a photo of her partially nude and warned her to remain silent. There was no violence. There was no threat of violence. There was no blackmail. There was no threat of blackmail. Greitens also firmly denying that anyone associated with him paid the woman not to talk. Those things are absolutely false. And it's important, I think, to note that we've not heard from the woman that was involved in the affair. We're hearing from her ex-husband. We need to hear from this woman because she knows what happened in that basement when he allegedly taped her and took the nude photograph. The controversy, a stain for the former Navy SEAL, a rising star in the Republican Party and married father of two. But most importantly, I am a very proud husband and father. Despite calls from some on both sides of the aisle to resign, the country's second youngest governor defiant in the face of the sex scandal, telling the Associated Press, I'm staying, I'm staying. The St. Louis Circuit Attorney